Hello everyone, welcome to Mind Blowing Math. Question from Ace University MX Entrance 2019. Question is if fx is a quadratic polynomial such that f of 0 given as equal to 2 and f is 0 equal to minus 3 and f double is 0 equal to 4, then we are asking about the integral value minus 1 to 1 fx dx is equal to 1. So from very basic let the fx the quadratic polynomial is a x square plus bx plus c standard equation now given f of 0 is equal to 2 so whenever x equal to 0 then this term will get cancelled this term will get cancelled c equal to 2 so we got a constant value c equal to 2. Now again given f base of x which is nothing but 2ax plus b. Whenever x equal to 0 this term equal to minus 2 that implies from here b equal to minus 2. So we get another constant value b equal to minus 3. Now from the third condition, first of all we find f double s x which is 2a and given f double s 0 equal to 4. So this implies 2a equal to 4 then a equal to 2. So if we have the value a equal to 2, b equal to minus 3 and c equal to 2. Now we need to we need to need to find the integral value minus one to one f x d x. So this is simply integration of this equation for polynomial d x minus one to one. Now a equal to 2, so 2x is squared minus 3x plus 2 integration minus 1 to 1 dx. Now it's very simple 2x cube by 3 minus 1 to 1 plus minus 3x squared by 2 minus 1 to 1 plus 2x which is minus 1 to 1. So this is 2 by 3 plus minus into minus plus so 2 by 3 and this is the given function and we know that integration from minus a to a fx dx equal to 0 whenever fx is even fx is equal to f of minus x. This is the definition of even when whenever the function is even then integration final integration minus a to a f x dx is always equal to 0. So this is this part get cancelled and plus 2x so 2 into 1 minus 1 minus 1 this is plus 1 so 2 plus 2 is 2 2 this is 4 so 4 by 3 plus 4 this is 16 by 3. So 16 by 3, B is the correct answer. So from textbook university entrance exam, question is they given a matrix corresponding to eigenvalue 3, we need to find the eigenvector. So we know A is given matrix, if A is the given matrix, N cos N matrix, and lambda is the Eigen value then a minus lambda i into x is equal to 0, where x is the eigen vector. So we need to find this value x. So a is 8 minus 6 2, 6 7 minus 4. 2 minus 4 3 and lambda is given as 3 3 into 
i, where i is the identity matrix, where it is 3 cos 3 matrix, so 3 cos 3 identity matrix. So this become 8 minus 3, 5 minus 6, 2, 6, 7 minus 2, 4, minus 4, 2 minus 4, 3 minus 3 equal to 0. So this is the x now x1, x2, x3. So 3 by 2 matrix is equal to 0. So from here we get 3 equations. If you multiply 5 x1 minus 6 x2 plus 2 x3 is equal to 0 and from second one 6 x1 plus 4 x2 minus 4 x3 equal to 0 and from the last one 2 x1 minus 4 x2 it is equal to 0 now from the third equation 2x1 is equal to 4x2 and x2 equal to mm, half x1 so we will convert all x1 x2 and x3 in terms of x1 then, it, then calculation part will be easy now we will put x2 in equation number 1 this is equation number 1 then 5 x1 minus 6 into x, x2 and x2 is half x1 so half into 6 this is 3 x1 plus 2 x3 equal to 0. So this is uh, 2x3 this is equal to minus 2x1 and x3 equal to minus 1. So if we get x1, x2, x3, x2 is replaced by half x1 and x3 is replaced by minus of x1. Now it is 1 half and minus 1 into x1 and this is the eigenvector corresponding to this eigenvalue 3 and 1 half minus 1 so this is the correct answer in this this question from sequence and series part question is which of the following sequence of real number is convergent these are the given option question again from Facebook University entrance here this is one of the most easiest question ever asked in any MSc entrance exam see Whenever n tends to infinity, two to the power n tends to infinity. So this is a divergent sequence. And three to the power n tends to infinity. One plus three to the power n also tends to infinity. So these two are divergent sequence. And this is the correct option actually. When the limit n tends to infinity, so this is nothing but one by two to the power n. And this goes to anything by two to the power n goes to infinity, and one by infinity goes to Zero. So this is the convergent sequence and for your kind of information this is an oscillatory sequence. See I am giving you a simple result if a sequence is convergent then every subsequence of that sequence converges to same limit and this is oscillatory sequence whenever we take the even term 
a two n. This term become one 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 dot dot dot. And whenever we take the odd odd term sequence of of the sequence of sequence, then it will be minus one minus one minus one minus one. So this subsequence converges to one because this is eventually constant sequence. All term of this sequence is one. And again, this sequence have limit as minus one. Eventually constant sequence minus one minus one. We get two subsequence of this sequence. One is goes to one and another goes to minus one. But we know if a sequence is convergent, then every subsequence, then every sorry subsequence of that sequence converges to same limit. We we get different limit for different subsequence. So this option is also false. So this is the correct answer. Thank you. From QW MSC until 2019. So question is: Let A be a three cross three matrix whose determinant of A given as zero. Then which of the following is not a possible value of rank of A? So question from linear algebra part. Uh, one of the most basic question. So we will use a simple result. I'm not going to give the proof of this result. And first of all, I'm explaining what is rank. Rank is nothing but if A is a n cross m matrix, suppose, then rank of A is nothing but number of linearly independent row or linearly independent column of A. So this is nothing but the rank of A. If A is a n cross m matrix, the number of linearly independent row or linearly independent column of that matrix is nothing but the rank of A. Now the given determinant of A equal to zero, and say whenever a matrix, a scalar matrix n cross n, if determinant of A equal to zero, then there always exists a Linearly dependent row or linearly dependent column. So I am not going to prove the fact. I am just giving you if A is a n cross n matrix and if determinant of A equal to zero. Then maximum possible rank of A is equal to n minus one. So here given matrix is three cross three, so n equal to three. So and given determinant of A equal to zero, then maximum possible Rank of A is equal to three minus one which is equal to two. So at max, we get a matrix three cross three matrix which are determinant equal to zero have rank two. So here we have D equal to three which is not possible. We have to choose the wrong one. So this is the correct option for this case.